Welcome to part 2 of fixing a Yeti microphone, where we actually replace the mini USB port. This is a bit more involved than last time, but it's still a fairly simple process. I apologize in advance for my less than stellar soldering skills. They're functional, not pretty. See part 1 for disassembly of your microphone. Once it's disassembled, we can begin. Start off with your soldering iron, flux, solder, and solder wick. We will need to desolder the 7 solder joints for the USB port, which are circled at the top left of the screen. To use your solder wick, simply place the end of the wick over the solder you want to remove and then place your heated solder tip over it. Now I will be speeding up this footage a good bit, as it's amazingly difficult to do this on camera and not be in the way, so it took me a bit longer than it really should have. Once you have the majority of the solder removed from the USB port pins, you can start to remove the USB port. If you have a good quality solder wick, unlike mine, or a solder sucker, this will be easier than you see me doing here. If you didn't do so, like me, use tweezers or pliers to apply pressure on the USB port to be pulling it out as you heat up the remaining solder. If your USB port breaks and falls apart like mine did, you may have to remove the connecting pins one at a time. It's annoying, but easy. Once the port is removed, take the extra time to go ahead and remove all excess solder. If you cannot slide your wires through the, through the holes, there's too much solder left in the joints and you will not be able to get your USB port in. On to solder again the actual USB port. Once all the holes are completely cleared out, it becomes much easier to do this as the USB port will actually fit into the holes on the circuit board. You may run into a slight issue if your pins are a little bent like mine were, but adjust them and they should slide in pretty easily. One thing I did have to do that I managed to lose the video footage for was cut off the back two pins on the USB port on the left and right side so it would sit flush against the circuit board. I used a pair of model snips to cut it off, but any small metal cutter will work too. Now, my board still had plenty of flux on it from cleaning up the solder, but if you cleaned your board after or have no flux left on it, you can add some flux to the board and pins before adding your solder to help with adhesion. All you have to do is add a little solder to your iron and cover all the pins and connect them to the board, and that's it. After you're done, go ahead and test your microphone to make sure you have everything working correctly and if you're happy with the result, go ahead and reassemble your microphone. Stay tuned to the end to hear it fixed. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you like the content I'm putting out, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to stay up to date with new content as it comes out. And this is how it sounds now that we have the USB port completely changed, and there should be a more permanent fix. Now over time the USB port will get a bit loosened up again, so fortunately these do come in like a 10 pack, you can always replace them again. Thank you.